What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally installing the CG five inch catted downpipe on the 2020 Supra. The reason why we chose this downpipe is because it does still have a cat. The features of this downpipe and most downpipes are faster spool, improved throttle response, and with a cat, we shouldn't receive a check engine light. This downpipe has 56% less flow restriction over the factory downpipe. CG also offers a 12 month warranty on their catted downpipe. So enough of my talking, let's get this on the rack and get it installed. All right, as you've seen in many videos already, go ahead and pull each corner and the lid pops right off. You go ahead and snap both these forward like that. Then squeeze and they slide forward and pop right off. Squeeze, slide forward and pop right off. So right here is a little pin and all you gotta do is just barely touch it and it slides forward. Just Barely touch it. Little touch and it pops right off. And the same thing on this one, just a little push and they pop right off. And the other thing to note is there's a little clip that the black wire here clips into and then the gray one doesn't. So go ahead and get those off, lift the car, we're gonna go underneath. All right, so I'm going to, going to remove the T-bolt. takes a 13 and this is going to be a very tedious process so I won't put you through this pain. I'll show you once it's off and as you can see up there it is loose. Next we're going to go ahead and remove these two nuts that are also 13 millimeter. So we'll get those off. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this, which is a 13 as well. Make sure you have a very long ratchet to do all these because the upper bolts that hold the actual downpipe to the car are very difficult to get to. It's gonna make life a lot easier. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove this exhaust bolt. This nut. All right, next. We're gonna go ahead and pull off this bolt right here. And we're gonna go ahead and remove these two. As you see, those two bolts are removed. This All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna slide the whole exhaust unit back approximately an inch or two. You're gonna want a friend to help you with this. So Malin, can you come over here and help me? You need to remove the rear lower brace. Then all of these are 13s. You can watch how to do that in our Cusco rear power brace video linked below. You're going to have to remove the exhaust. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is take the O2 socket and crack them free. Be very careful. You don't have to go crazy on them. They're not super tight to the upper and then go ahead and crack free the lower and then undo them both by hand. The turbo flange exhaust gasket, go ahead and grab a pick and you can pop this out. I suggest just replacing it. They aren't very expensive and we actually offer the gasket on our website. Reinstall the exhaust flange gasket. Make sure it's secure. Make sure there's anti-seize on the threads prior to installing the O2 sensors. Install the upper O2 sensor with the black wires. Then the lower O2 sensor which is the gray wire. Most O2 sensors should be torqued to 26 to 33 foot pounds. This 
clip right here that the bracket needs to clip into it and then be tightened down. And we're gonna go ahead and carefully install the downpipe, not to bang it around all into the car. Get the V-band in place, then finger tighten it enough to where it will hold the downpipe on the car. Once you slide it on, go ahead and hook the V-band. Grab your 13 millimeter and go ahead and tighten the V-band. Take note of this clip right here. Make sure you hook the O2 sensors in these two locations, the gray towards the rear, there's two little spots here, and the black towards the front. As you can see, we got the downpipe in. Now reinstall the exhaust. Start by slipping it on the downpipe, the rear lower brace, then go from the rear of the car to the front. It's the exact same as removal, just the reverse process. All right, back up top, make sure that the wire is clipped in here and plug and mount the O2 connectors. They just snap and click into place. This car sounds so much better. You can hear the turbo spooling when you're in the car. You can actually hear it out the exhaust in the back. And the burbles and the pops and the bangs are all a lot more enhanced. The nice thing I've noticed with the catted downpipe versus a 
downpipe with no cat is it's a lot more deeper of a sound. So it sounds a lot better in my opinion. And versus a, a non-catted downpipe to this, the horsepower numbers don't seem to be in a dramatic difference. All right, that wraps up this video for today. So let us know down in the comments what you thought of the sound of the car with the new downpipe. Also understand this is completely factory exhaust from the downpipe back. So the sound is gonna change even more once we put the new cap back on, once it shows up. But that will be in another episode. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Close the valve. Close it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.